So this arrived today from my local electric company. I saw them the other day trimming trees and asked them for a load. And they came today. Unfortunately, it was raining most of yesterday, so they had to dump it in the driveway, which means that's a lot of mulch to move. I've made a little dent. It was all the way to the truck, so I made a little dent today. But I have to, of course, move it all the way down to the garden. And here's some pepper plants because I'm sealing room for my flower beds because I'm running out of space. Excuse me, little chicken. Here was where I originally planted the black raspberries and I tried to move them but they don't move very well. They just keep taking over. So I really only put a couple of squash plants in here this year and oh there is a little squash down there. I don't know if you can see them. Um, because next year I'm just going to let the raspberries take over because they're taking over. Anyways, I also planted a ton of onions and I think I have two little onions. But, back to the mulch. So here's where most of the raspberries are, and we picked our first one tonight. They're up here in front of the garden. And, sorry, I'm walking and talking, and there's a train, of course. Here, we'll say hi to the duckies. Hi, duckies. And chickens, and Opal, our new dog, who's fairly good about staying in the yard with everybody. So, we are gonna have, um, black raspberries this year. Super excited about that and there's tons of canes growing for next year. Um, so before I go in the garden let me tell you this. This is the greenhouse and I just took off the top plastic and I planted all my tomatoes in there early I, when it was still under plastic so they could get a start, head start and then um, I just took plastic off and now they're growing in all these grow beds. There's some peppers in there as well, some radishes, and carrots that aren't doing fantastic, but oh well. This is a hugel culture bed. Uh, you can Google that if you don't know what it is. But I got butternut squash right there. I planted like six of them and one has survived. So that's not been super exciting. New gates that my dad and I installed for the garden, which have been awesome. Here are my potatoes and I just flipped them up tonight to put mulch down. So we have lots of potatoes coming up. Opal, do not come in the garden. Um, beans, we are getting lots of beans, but it keeps raining every afternoon. So it's kind of hard to pick them because they need to be totally dry to be picked. So two kinds of potatoes, beans, sweet potatoes are doing well, taking off now. This is a row of okra. Yeah. These are acorn squash that I saved a couple of the squash from last year and some spring I just busted them open and planted seeds so hopefully we'll see how that works. That's my way of seed saving because I'm not good at it. And our spotty corn, once again spotty corn, that's all I can grow. Uh, luckily my dad and younger sister are growing a ton of corn so they're going to give me some. And some sunflowers and there's the chicken run. And you can tell I've got wood chips kind of blocking. I just dumped them and the chickens will spread them all out tomorrow. So that's what we'll work with that. Okay, that was a really long update. Some more tomatoes out here that I didn't have space for in the greenhouse. And that's about it. <laughs> a chicken chasing bug. That's super funny. <laughs> okay, so there's the garden update. I'm sorry it's been forever. Things have been crazy busy per usual and of course the garden doesn't look like I want it to but there's only so many hours of daylight in the day so there's your garden update for June the 17th